Hello everybody, Dominomiel here, and welcome back to another episode of Bug Fables, and last episode I found this menacing room. It's a boss. Okay. Well, shit. <laughs> that looks a little bit scary. Okay. So Kabu in the back like usual. Uh... V is going to spy on the Devourer. That's a... That's an epic name. Eep, that thing's huge! And poison... Yes! <laughs> this sucks, we gotta beat it before we all get eaten. No, I want poison! But... Fine, I'll try and freeze it if I can. I can't. But that still did 6 damage. And Kabu, you can charge. Ooh, uh... Oh! Ow! <laughs> Ow! Okay. Jeez, if you want to play that way... Uh... Yeah, Kabu, turn Relay to V real quickly, and then V will use an item. Sweet danger. Or actually, no, Leaf. Leaf. You have really good AoE attacks, so let's do Ice Rain. was actually pretty good. Because I really don't want to deal with that. With ads right now. And then... Yep, Tornado Toss. One more attack like that and he should be done for. <laughs> v! MVP! Wait, he's still not dead. No, 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 no. Uh, fuck. Um. Hmm. This is a bit of a predicament. Uh. Do I just have healing? Like, straight up healing? No. Let's see if we can survive. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Party heal on one person. Okay, let's, uh... If I don't do this now, I'm never going to win. Okay, I just need to survive one more attack. Nope. <laughs> Okay, let's do that again. Let, let's do that again. Yeah. I can win this. I totally can win this. Okay. Oh. Well, okay. Uh, Kabu, you do the usual. And then, V. Yes. Uh, 
Yes. V will do what she does best. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Oh! Nice, you just refilled V's poison. <laughs> nice! Thank you, boss. Thank you, boss, for being so generous. Uh... <laughs> okay. Okay. But what now? Leaf. Leaf. You are going to do Ice Rain again. Yep, I just wanted you to kill that guy. And then... Uh... <laughs> oh, that's how that works. So even status ailments get passed on to the person that gets relayed. In this case, poison, actually a benefit. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay. Okay, I think I got this. Kabu is... How dare you. How dare you. Oh, you asshole. Okay. Okay, okay. Huh. V is going to fall out of the sky. So, let's ice fall this guy. Wait, no. I didn't want to ice fall, I wanted to ice rain. Don't tell me that's a party wipe, because V's... V's still alive! Oh. Okay, I got this, I got this, I can do this. <sighs> okay, let's go with the same strategy. My strategy of hard charging and then... Th this game is suddenly getting a bit hard now that I'm doing the optional bosses. Th did any of you realize that? <laughs> oh, jeez. Fuck. It's fine. V can get the status now. Uh, I didn't mean to just do a... <laughs> okay, ring around the rosy kind of thing. Uh... Honestly, Leaf? Your damage is kind of needed. I'm sorry I kind of ignored you before, but that won't happen again. So... Let's do this. Ooh, that's actually pretty good damage. And Leaf. Or V, sorry. V. Uh, can you do anything that won't activate? No, do nothing for now. Cool. Well... I like how Kabu just doesn't have a turn anymore. I don't know why that happened, but it did. Uh... And V... Uh... 
Can you use... Yeah. Use the sucking flag. I just want to regenerate health. Okay. Why why are my turns decent? Oh, it's because we it's because of me. Uh Okay, okay, okay. Uh And then the finally attack with the tornado toss. I just need to get rid of this guy. Nope. Okay. Uh, I got some nice regen. Finally, I can use V up front to tornado toss the devourer. Okay. Four, three, two, one. That's ten damage. Uh. Fuck. Okay. Let's, uh... Hmm. Let's just do cross for now. Okay. Oh! Okay, I don't care if you eat me, because I can just kill you. Okay. Um I am I'm gonna play it safe. I'm going to play it safe and then just have Leaf do the finishing blow with some ice rain. Yeah, I only need to do three damage to the big guy. Three damage. Then they should be both be gone. Wow! That was awkwardly difficult. Crystal Fang? Wow. That's so cool. I can't believe I wasted 15 minutes trying to get that. Uh. Okay, this game really isn't holding back any punches now. I'll take it, because I thought I broke the game with poison strats. I still kind of did, in a sense, but... It's really dangerous to go for poison strat... Or poison strategies. Which... <laughs> I should have realized that, and I kind of like knew that the game was eventually going to say, Hey, you can't get away with poison forever. But... I... I took a gamble, and... <laughs> yeah. Yes. Give me a good medal. Last attack medal. Oh. Okay. Last attack. That's four. That is... Four, and it only increases attack by one. So, uh, is it worth it? No, not really. I have three crystal berries. Uh, okay. Yeah, and I don't have any other poison metals that I can buy. Huh. It's not a bad metal. It's basically the equivalent of danger, of danger strategies in the original Paper Mario and in TTYD, where there are certain badges in the game that increase Mario's damage and defense when he's low on HP. 
and it can get really ridiculous to like where Mario if Mario is at 1 HP his attack increases by 3 and if you keep stacking those types of badges like 3 or 4 of them or 5 or 6 even then you'll do like 20 plus damage per hit so if you do a power bounce then you can just instantly kill bosses when you're at 1 HP uh I don't really need to explain this to those that have played Paper Mario, but I do know there are some people watching this that haven't played Paper Mario. So, uh, I think there's one other area I can go to to fight a super boss, or optional boss, uh, in the plains, the grasslands. But for now, I want to start progressing the story. And I want to get some more MP, because, uh, <laughs> not MP, well, yeah, MP, sorry, I, I was going to say BP, I, I corrected myself, I almost corrected myself on the correct terminology. Uh, did I bake sweets? No. Uh... Okay, okay. So now I'm back in the Termite Kingdom. And now... Jeez, are we almost at the end of this episode already? 20 minutes in. I can still talk about something. Okay. Uh... Hmm. What do you want? Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think I'm going to go to the Forsaken Lands. I don't really care. I just want to progress the story, and that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I do kind of like these items. Honestly, like, I feel like I could implement them in my strategy, but... Wait. I can use this to go other places? Oh. I didn't even know. That is neat. Okay, what, what what's in this building, then? Uh... Fifth floor? What's in the fifth floor? Don't tell me it's something really important. Okay, this guy is doing cardio. Huh, <laughs> cardio. And this guy is... Hmm. Okay. <sighs> Okay. Seedling Affinity Metal. Uh... I didn't even need to worry about killing the seedlings. Maybe I just barely met my goal by defeating the seedling king. Okay, so... Uh... Yeah, no, I'm going to end this episode in five minutes, so I'm not going to start talking about anything big. I'm going to start talking, maybe, in the next episode. So, yeah, the past couple of episodes have mostly been talking about the actual game itself, because I've been preoccupied with fighting optional bosses. And it's difficult to commentate over something like that, because uh, I'm fighting a boss. I don't want to ruin the moment by talking about uh, random shit. <laughs> And besides her, that story. You've arrived. Behold our subaquatic maritime needle transport. Yeah, the submarine. It's like nothing we've seen, for better or worse. It can truly travel under the tides. Give it a whirl. You'll have the time of your life. The bugs have never been able to travel this way. Whew, okay. I'm gonna trust it. 
we can finally go get the everlasting sapling. And beat up the king, too. This long journey's nearing its end. But we must not rest until we're victorious. It's a bit too early to rally. Let's head to the outskirts pier. We must pick up our reinforcements. It's a very intuitive tech. You can move as you usually would. Just dive with B when there's danger, just in case. Let's give it a whirl, then. Time's running out. So, I can just... Holy shit. Oh. Okay. So... Bagaria outskirts. This is probably... Oh. Your Majesty, you have returned! Indeed, that was an experience like no other. I'm glad we made it. It was surprisingly sturdy. So this is Bagaria. It's greener than I've heard of. The sunlight is so warm. And the breeze so heavenly. It is my pleasure to welcome you to our land. What's our next stop, then? I will escort our allies to the city as part of our deal. Wedge, was it? Yes, Queen? I trust the royals have briefed you on your task. Yeah, I'll try and fix the sunken ship. Guess I'll sightsee later. Okay. You are to take subaquatic maritime... Uh, fuck off, Queen. Don't say the full name. Uh, and head towards the rubber prison immediately. By yourselves? Okay. But I want to go to Metal Island. Holy shit, they're just handing out money! Okay. 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 This is... pretty interesting, but where's Metal Island? Uh... Do I even need to prepare? Probably, but did the story trigger, like, maybe... <sighs> ah, no, I'll just go. I'll just go. I want to go to Metal Island. Yes! Metal Island. Well, this island is a symbol of empty consumerism, but it has good food. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. Rails haven't been built yet. Please be careful while walking on the pier. Okay. Welcome to Metal Island, the safest, fanciest area in all of Bagaria. Okay. What's here? Spicy tea. No, that's bad. Oh, burly tea. Uh. Hey, uh, are you the Lost Sisters, uh, sister? Oh, I guess this is some. Okay, uh, I don't really care. This guy. Yah, landlubbers! Scurvy here's got some high-quality, tangy berries straight from the eastern lands. It is 40 berries for each. Want some? Aye, aye. <laughs> okay. No, no, I don't care about the music of this game. We're buying it anyway. Um, that's kind of impressive. Hmm. <sighs> Jeez. Okay. Hmm. 
Well. I think that's it for this episode. I want to explore more of this island next episode. So, without further ado, see you next time. Bye!